Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic with me, Get Daved. Let's just ditch this Wookiee guard. I always found that to be a kind of an awkward pause. Use your force jump. Okay, I'm gonna get psyched. But you know what, we did it. No remains. There's not many remains on this planet in general, but when you do get them, they're delightful. And you're the one I want. But I mean that in a very sweet way. Boom. 31 damage. Well, that's pretty great. Um, off camera while I was walking here, I elected not to put it in the Let's Play. There was some banter between Bastila and Mission. Mission was all, uh... Hey, Bastila, do you ever use the Force for something fun? Like a prank? And she... She was like, no. And then said a bunch of patronizing crap. Oh, there they go. Uh, don't worry, man. Okay, well, that's racist. Look, I'm going... Yeah. Well, I like your attitude. Uh, okay. Yes, you and your brutal, terrible planet full of horrible, hostile things. Anyway, Basil is a little patronizing back and is like, I'd never do that. And then Mission gets a little snappy and then Basil force trips her. And is like, oh, don't be so clumsy. And I think they were trying to humanize her, but it just made her seem like a jerk. <laughs> Not for the tripping thing, for the for the attitude. Chundar has commanded that I grant you access. Sounds good. Yeah, let's go. There is a little cutscene that plays of you descending. I don't think they mentioned how tall the trees are. Uh oh. Hey everyone, it's Callow Nord. You've let me on quite a chase, but nobody gets away from Callow Nord in the end. You got lucky on Terrace. The Sith attack saved you from a quick and gruesome. There's probably a way to work that into the lyrics to the song Hurt. Sith won't be getting in my way this time. All right, let's do it again. Let's go, boys. Showtime. <laughs> Showtime. <laughs> I love that. And dust this poser. Actually, we should probably take off the, the scrubs first. Okay, Basil is switching to medic duty, so that's good. Alright, now to business. I think Mission wants him to die already. Oh, a beautiful swipe to finish him off. I'm here. What? Yes. Yes. What? And we yes. can loot the dead body. He's got some good stuff. Oh boy. Okay, just out of curiosity, how good is his battle armor? And it's upgradable. Okay, if we were bringing Candorus along, which. Guess maybe we'll do on the next planet. Um, that'd be pretty good for him. Right now, it's not on par with uh, Davix gear, but it very easily could get to that point with the upgrades because Davix is not upgradable, and it's stupid looking. 
So that's what I actually care about. Could have been my imagination, but I thought I saw a yellow number for a little bit there. It was quite silly. Also, one note on the recording choppiness. Get used to that sound. Alright. Um, I've tried a whole bunch of different approaches to try improving like how smooth it is. I just, I can't. So I'm sorry, gang. 5 to 12? It's not upgradable, but it's an improvement, so that's an average increase of one damage point every time she shoots. And I think... I think she'll get all her force points back when we level up, so let's just do that. And maybe we can get the full life on the, the hero as well. Only we'll get daved. Yeah, advanced throw lightsaber hits multiple targets, but the attack just blows. Um, she's going to get that auto magically. I mean, we have her using blasters. And she's probably only going to get a few more feats in the entire game. We're also really committed. Not to melee attacks, but she's physically quite weak. So, yeah, we'll just stick with the blaster pistol. What? Can't step over that dead body. I'm going to assume it's a superstition thing. Also, she did not get force points back. All right. This is Jolie Bindo. If this weren't a cutscene, he would absolutely get massacred in this fight. He'll never be able to do that again. Damnable racket of battle. Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Yeah, I can hear them making that sound. I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp and we'll talk a bit. I wonder if Angelina Jolie was a thing at this time. Ah, don't start fawning just yet. I'm too old for it. Uh, I, I know a few things. We can talk about it at my camp. Alright, can you talk louder than the ambient? <laughs> yeah, I live like some burrowing bird. I fought the Sith. Now look at me. <laughs> I, I can't make... You know what? Let's try this. Let's try a quick save and a load. Oh my goodness. Is it them making the noise? Do I have to kill every single... Okay, I think it got quiet. I don't know, it's starting to get to me. Give yourself a hundred get Dave points if it was getting to you. Also, uh, I've got a little bit of the sniffles right now, so we're gonna do... I don't know. One get Dave point for sniff I do on camera. There you go. That one's from me. That one's from the heart. Also, revision based on uh, a comment I was given in the comment section when I was explaining how the difficulty check 10 on the stun effect Bastel has wasn't very good. It's just a d20 roll against that. So there is no plus based on like their fortitude or anything like that. I mentioned that maybe two or three videos ago. And uh, fine, I'll show you the thing. There we go. I was referencing these. That it's not applicable to the attack modifier. So it has a 50% chance to stun, which is okay. 
Well, welcome to my home, such as it is. Pull up a stump and be comfortable. We should discuss a few things. How to make everything shut up. Um... No, this is interesting. He lives oh, down here. Me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your master. I'm just an old man that's been lost in the woods for far too long. Metaphorically, boy, maybe? Me, but perhaps there is something I can do for you. You must have questions. I, I just say... Now, why would you be asking about that? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, that, that don't ask. I knew that had to be why you were here. The well, that's an interesting thing to say. Don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. No, you are here for the map. Okay, how can I have... Uh... Kashyyyk is an interesting place. More so than anyone suspects. If Zerka Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here. But mm -hmm. it is more than that. The trees themselves are strangers. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way, and you won't find what you need without my help. Because there's a wall. Has a price. You must do a task for me, and then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain... Which is not like a weird, path. like, mental bonding thing. He just means come along. I like how... Sen needlessly vague he's being... He's talking about a literal wall with a door. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands, the Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until recently, anyway. Mm -hmm. A group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is all they are. I'd like them removed from this place. Okay. Don't talk back to your elders, child. Look, they know me quite well, and are always on alert when I approach. The mm -hmm. only way I could get rid of them would be violence, which would eventually lead to trouble for the Wookiees. I want them gone. But with as little fuss as possible, they have already caused enough trouble as it is. All right, you got it. Good. Return to me here, and we'll see how you have done. Shoo, shoo. All right, we're gonna go check it out then, non-violently. <sighs> okay, I can do this. Malfunction. My primary motivators are in error. The playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matten to work the sensors. Playback. We need this Matten guy. Well, wait, I'm getting something. Oh good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point us in the right direction. Playback. Eli, what are you- You got your money, you double-crossing snake? We had a deal! Eli, you son of a bitch. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant- Alright. Playback. Shutting down. Oh, did I just get killed? Alright, well, we've got the droid's head anyway. That <laughs> will show it to the other droids. That'll teach them. Alright, well, there's nothing here. Good news, everyone. I think you have to come back here on the Jenna Haradin quest. It's like an assassination you can perform over there. Actually, it looks like these guys have regeneration by default. Well, that would make them formidable. Or we're dealing one type of damage that they absorb, but I don't think that's very common in this game. Yeah, it looks more like just regeneration over time. Yes? No, no, use the force jump, you idiot. You can do it. Okay, now mission's in the way. Alright, game. A little clunky. There we go. I mean, that opening attack, it's too good. It's two attacks for the price of one. And yes, you can kill all of the atta these thatches or attacks, so you can have quiet for once. All right, some hyper stims. That's nice, at least. Ooh. 
Another dead body. Good news, folks. Okay, one path left. Good news, I think I know the way to the poachers. Could have pointed us in the right way, but whatever. Let's make this quick. All right, mission can probably hang on for quite a while. Just checking something. So this is the difference. I guess we could give her a Jedi robe to improve her defense by two. But yeah, 29. Thank you, good armor, dexterity, and scoundrel stats. There we go. Yes. Also, the dark Jedi robes kind of have like a greenish hue to them. Oh, another dead end. Okay. Well... Fine. We can still go north. Anyway, yeah, one... This is like going back way far now. One person suggested in the comment section I could run the game in a Windows XP virtual machine and try recording that way. Which I think might work. But that's, um... I don't know. That's crazy. If that could be faster, that's just alarming. Manifest of goods already delivered. Roar War had sold a number of Wookiees. Huh, well. Sounds like this Roar War guy wasn't so great. Oh, people. Yeah, of course, only we would set off the mines. No, don't do it. What can I do? Yeah? You can get removed from the party soon enough. Who are you, another civil merchant like that Coro Slime up on the docking ring? This is my territory. Mm -hmm. I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back to I'm pretty side. good at persuading. Mess with my profits, and I'll see you dead. <laughs> He's got a with me. I'm with Zerka Corporation. Oh, well, Who's you're a middle manager in that case. The stay in line. As long as you don't get in the way, you can wander where you want. I've got a job to do. And what's your job? I could use an extra hand. A couple men have gone missing. If I lose many more, I'll have to close up shop. Interesting. They are hunting the little simians. The tack. They have a gland that acts as a stimulant when powdered. Man, I got so I many stimulants. The years to butcher the lot of them. You want in before I make them extinct? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave for a minute. Alright. We're just gonna clean up some of these mines quickly. I did remember that they were all over the place. Oh, what right, still too play? low. There's a chance, you know what, if we did kill all of the, the Tatch, we wouldn't have to uh, listen to them anymore, maybe? Alright, seems clear. And a metal box, good news everyone! I'll just be opening this. Impossible. Chani light armor, which I think is one of the cool looking armors in the game. Hey, we got their glands. Motion detection goggles. Okay. Alright, we turn it off. You want anything, you'll have to talk to the commander. He's in charge of our harvesting. Alright. 
Why am I here? I'm here because this is where the commander told me to stand. And that's all there is to it. I'm just seems like a nice arrangement. Why couldn't they have just equipped this lump of tech with a blaster and left me at home? I'm not here because I know stuff. I handle a blaster well enough to guard this emitter and that's it. Talk to the commander. I think I need to talk to the commander. No more dangerous than walking out on the commander. He'd kill me for disobeying orders. Why would you work here? Yeah, let's do this. I, I really need to get out of here. It's too dangerous. Dark side. I'll make an example of you. Well, I didn't know that would happen. What? Um. Back again, hmm? Hmm. If you made it this Okay, far, they're guarding the emitters. It ain't easy. We've set up a perimeter of sonic emitters to keep the bigger preds away. It's worked so far. As mm -hmm. long as the emitters are operational, we're pretty much safe. It makes harvesting a lot easier. I feel like I should avenge that other guy now, but the game's gonna give me dark side points. Ugh. Jolie said that it would make it harder for the Wookiees. Uh, okay. Good. I'm not down here. What do you want? I don't want to get on the commander's bad side. Yeah, I get that. I'm not here. Don't you start with me. Now leave me alone before the. Com I uh. They generate a sonic bear. I don't know how it works, really. Good. All right. Let's see if we can fiddle. Enter individual access code. Hmm. Oh, hey, remains. Can't get the blaster he was good enough to handle. Requires input of individual access code. Well, where are we gonna figure that out? What do you want? Are you threatening me? Besides, enough things down here want to... Okay. What do you want? So if someone could shut them down, you could like leave. There we go. For sure. I suppose you could take this code and shut down the emitter I'm guarding. Uh -oh. Enough of those emitters go down, and the camp will have to move out. But I never said anything. Okay. Let's just see if the pathing figures it out. No, I'm just kidding. We'll explain it to it. All right, enter the Zerka code. Oh, I guess we just automatically turned it off. What do you want? What do you want? I don't like enough. All right. Lather, rinse, repeat. What? Oh, we only needed to do two. Also, look at that <laughs> one blade of grass go nuts. All right, so remember they were talking about Tarantatix? That's what they look like. I really did want to kill that one guy, but oh well. At least no one got hurt. <clears throat> and that's the story we're going to stick with when the council asks. Are we clear, comment section? No one got hurt. Alright, let's go talk to old Joe Lee. I mostly did it. Welcome back. I wonder, have you had much luck? Have you done as I asked? Yes, I could feel it as you walked near. And I don't sense the smell of death on you. Well, you maybe one-fifth. Interesting. I, I, I tried. If you imagined a meaning behind it, I suppose that's good. But I don't think such a trivial thing is any real measure of a person. Then, well... 
You know, I don't really care what about yes, his methods. Of course. Let's get moving. I noticed the old path some time ago. You probably wouldn't have found them on your own. There's also a Zerka repulsor field blocking the way, past the poacher camp in the east. I saw it when it was installed, so I know how to pass it. That's not I how seeing works. Ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you were seeking. I hope he's in the Oh, that's a visitors. real treat. And perhaps a Wookiee. <laughs> Yay! All right, I think... We're still waiting on Karth's side quest as well. I'm going to try to get Bastila's... <clears throat> um, and the reason is... Oh, well, you know what? I think Candor's is on Tatooine as well. I don't know. We'll... We'll go with Karth next. That's what we'll do. We'll make everyone unhappy, because there's a couple more conversations we can have with him. 21 defense, not bad. Sure, have some fortitude. And, no, that's really adding up to much. 6 to 11 K. His left hand weapon is terrible. That's more like it. Actually, we really just need to switch them at this point. Ben Dak. Ben Dak. There we go. And Karth's in the offhand. Okay. Do a quick level up. We're going to be a little light on skills, just given our current party setup. That's okay, though. And a billion force powers for Jolie. Computer use, hey? At this stage in the game, I'd say he's committed to other paths. Um, he's technically classified as, like, really neutral. So... Yeah, and he's all about force power, so he's a decent person to give offensive force abilities to. Um, I mean, speed you just always want. Disable droid, that's pretty good. I think some of these other ones would be kind of out of character for him. Like, can you imagine him using, like, force lightning? I can't. But remember, he's not light side, he's neutral, because he questions the madness of the Jedi Order. Yeah. Yeah, we'll go with Wound. Make things a little bit more interesting. No goody-goody powers for him. Yeah. He's going the way of the Duelist as well. Oh, and we get a second one. How delightful. Let's get him strangling people. If those fail, I believe they still do something pretty good as well, so that's a real treat. So many force powers, my goodness. Um... We'll go Night Valor. There we go. All right, everyone, and look at his absurd force point total versus our 82. All right, in the next episode, we go take care of some business, and I'm sure Karth's upset about something. We'll, we'll deal with that, too. I'll see you there.